This very historical part of the city of Durban. Here in this Freedom Valley, we have some of the greatest icons of South Africa. It was here that a young barrister, Mohandas Karamchan Gandhi, started his philosophy of Satyagraha, truth and non-violence, and spent 21 years of his life in this city before he went back to the Indian subcontinent. His neighbor was John L. Dube, founding father of the ANC, and who today we celebrate and whose memories we cherish and we honor him for being that leader in the work that he did uh, with the establishment of what became the foremost liberation movement in the African continent. But in this valley also is the Oshlanga School. And Nelson Mandela decided in 1994 to cast his vote at this precinct. At this school, for the very first time, when all South Africans went to the ballot box, Nelson Mandela chose to cast his vote here. And when, having completed his vote, he went to the great side of John L. Dube and said, Mr. President, South Africa is now free. An historic moment in the history of our country. But in this valley is also the Shemba village, one of the biggest uh, African religious groups found here in KwaZulu Natal. We have also the Inanda Seminary, a school, excuse me, that produced some of the leading ladies in our country and who are found in every facet of the South African society. We intend as a city partnership with the province to develop this route and to link it to the Inanda Dam and to create this heritage route which is so special not only to people of KwaZulu Natal but indeed to all South Africans. Taking on the Mandela is a very difficult issue because he's become iconic. And to make a sculpture of a living person is, is quite a difficult thing because his legacy hasn't quite unfolded yet. It's difficult to look at an image of a person that is still alive and still unfolding. So also, it's also very difficult to actually make a rendition of a person who has many, many faces in the imagination of someone. height of his maturity and his work, because really what we wanted to do was to present an iconic figure that actually is emblematic of wisdom and sensibility, especially African sensibility. So it's difficult to make a, a sculpture of a man that is already iconic without falling into all the traps that are attached to icons of, of great So, you know, the Mandela sculpture is particularly challenging and problematic. So, You'll see it just now, so one can just be the judge of that. 
spirit and memory of Long Albalele to be long live. Long live. Long live the spirit of the first president of the African National Congress. Long live. Long live. We proceed from now to the chapel, where the premier will then open the Madiba stage where Madiba voted for the first time uh, on the 27th of April 1994. Uh, the masterpiece. Our task was to deal with the media on that day. So we did not inform the media, they did not know that Nelson Mandela was voting here. And they were only instructed to come to our offices, I think at about 4.30 a.m. We bundled them into the media, wonderful people that you are. We put you all into buses and drove you out here. And I had the honor of practicing outside. My bald head was seen testing the ballot box. What we are seeing here, we are seeing the recording of the history of South Africa, the story that I think uh, the whole world.